welcome back to my channel thank you guys for tuning into another video so as you can tell by the title of this video we are going to be trying some TikTok recipes today and I have had three in mind that I have been wanting to try for quite a while and these TikTok recipes have been become very famous and have gone viral and so I wanted to try them out for myself to see what the hype is all about so we're gonna get started on three dishes the first one is going to be a feta pasta um, and the next is going to be a fried air fried zucchini and the next is going to be a quesadilla so if this is the first time you guys are tuning in make sure you guys continue to watch and subscribe to this channel <music> that I am going to try is the famous feta recipe. I am excited for this because it has been the rave. So what I'm gonna be using for this is some cherry tomatoes, also some feta cheese, and I'm also gonna be using some seasonings and olive oil. I'm personally using Italian seasoning as well as chili flakes and some oregano. So uh, the first part to this is putting in our feta cheese. Um, usually you can find them in any grocery store really, but you can find them in the cheese aisle. So inside it, I will be putting in my cherry tomatoes. Then I'm gonna take some olive oil and drizzle some olive oil on top. Now I have my spices here. Some people use basil, but for some reason, basil seems to be out of stock in most of the grocery stores I went to. So these spices it is, and to give it some flavor. And I'm also gonna be adding some Italian seasoning. This gives it like a saltiness, which I like. Gives it the flavor. Also some chili flakes. Also gonna drizzle some salt. So this is how it looks and I'm gonna pop this in the oven. For We are waiting for the feta pasta to finish. I am gonna get started on our second dish, which is the air fried zucchini that I got from the count My Healthy Dish on TikTok. And I'm gonna start out with a zucchini here that I chopped up. And I'm also going to be using panko, egg bath, flour. In the flour, I am going to add some onion powder as well as some salt and the pepper. Stir it around. So I'm gonna start out by dipping the zucchini in the bread and the flour, then the bath of eggs. Then when I'm done, pop it in here again, roll it around. Let me double check if old girl does it the second time. Okay, so she does it twice. <laughs> so she puts it in here twice. It's taking a bath. Ah! <laughs> Ew! So messy. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, y'all. And these get popped in here. Lord Jesus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See how this goes, guys. This is a lot messier than I thought it would be. Oh my gosh, or maybe I'm just a very clumsy human being. So, as we are waiting for the zucchini and the pasta to get going, I am gonna get started on our last recipe. So, by the time everything is ready, the third dish will be done. So I am just gonna use what I have. This is going to be our triangle quesadilla. So I'm gonna be using a whole wheat tortillas. And then at the house, we have 
um, some ham that we have had over the holidays, scrambled eggs that I fried up earlier, also some hash that I have from this morning. So I'm gonna put that all in the quesadilla. So see you like slit it right there. So in, it's gonna be in four ways. I'm gonna start off by putting in my meat. Putting in my meat. I'm also going to be using some of the hash that I made earlier. What's great about these recipes is like you can literally get wild and just add whatever you want. And also some egg that I made up earlier. That I made earlier. So that's one side. So for this, I am going to fold it over and combine it. And then I am going to get something that looks like this that I'm gonna put on the grill. these three dishes I think the one that I'm excited to try first is the zucchini so it's it's air fried zucchini with parmesan and it's supposed to be really crispy mmm so crispy that's really crispy it's cooked thoroughly mm -hmm. just needs a lot more flavor right flavor that's perfect it's perfect. I would say the flavor is lacking though. So, if you guys make this, I mean, go off on the seasoning. The, the flavoring is lacking a little bit. Unless you want to dip in like marinara sauce, but the crispiness is there. Because it's like a tempura. It's like Japanese tempura, but it's zucchini. <laughs> so, we're gonna move on to the next one. So, this one is the, um, the triangle quesadilla, but I made it like a morning breakfast version with ham, egg, um, potatoes, and also cheese. So I'm gonna have this with my mother. My mom's gonna say everything is good. <laughs> She's gonna say everything is good because she doesn't want to insult me. But mom, we're trying TikTok recipes. So on social media, people make food, and I want and they go viral. So we're just trying new recipes. That's gone viral. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm. I mean, I could, I could definitely see myself having this in the morning, and it's a very handy um, breakfast. And it's because the ham's really good though. It's because we had it for a couple of weeks that we just placed in the freezer over the holidays and so it's really tasty so this one is good but i think you can play around with the quesadilla you can add pretty much anything i would just probably add maybe like a meat or something um some cheese always makes it better um a veggie and also the eggs were really good so something a little soft texture so that is my good to go i like this one yay to this whoever decided that this was a good idea to make the triangle version of a quesadilla my mom's still eating. <laughs> so this one is really famous. It's called, it's a feta pasta. So usually they mash it up, but I didn't include it. I just transferred it to here. Be honest. How do we like the feta pasta? It's good too. Wow, this is very creamy. Mm -hmm. All right. Do I add more sauce? I'm gonna add a little more sauce. Because initially I thought it was really watery, so I was like questioning if it was good. I think what really makes it for us is the seasoning. Because usually I don't see a lot of the recipes um, add too much seasoning, except like salt and pepper. So what I like to use when I make pasta is to add um, oregano, also Italian seasoning and the chili flakes and it also it makes it really well it makes it really good and tasty but the tomatoes is making it very like kind of sour 
not really. Oh my, she's gonna say yes. She's gonna like everything. Anyways, that concludes the video. My mom keeps eating. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you guys for tuning into this vlog. Excuse me if I have something in my teeth. <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video. If this is the first time you guys are tuning in, make sure that you guys subscribe to this channel, drop a comment and a like, and we will see you on the next recipe video. Bye. Oh my God. <laughs>